Hello and welcome back to Pabli. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show how you can send messages on WhatsApp automatically for your business. So guys, there can be many type of messages that you can send for your business to your customers, to your leads or to your clients. So you can send these messages for customer retention, for marketing or for improving your sales. So this automation is very useful as you don't have to manually type the messages for your, all your customers and send them one by one manually. It will save a huge amount of time of yours and you can improve your productivity as well. So now let me show you how you can set up this automation. So to set up this automation, we are using Pavli Connect and this is the dashboard of Pavli Connect. Here you have to start working by creating a workflow. And guys, if you want to reach here, use the link that we have pasted in the description and set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log in to reach here. And here you have to click on this create workflow button to set up this automation. And here you can uh, give any beautiful name to this automation. I am giving the name as uh, send WhatsApp messages automatically okay so you can give any kind of name here and after that click on create and you can see your workflow uh, page is loading here and on this page you will see these two things the trigger and the action so this automation work on these two things so the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger so guys here in the trigger, you can connect any application like a CRM, your database, your spreadsheet or any other kind of application where you have collected and stored the data of your customers. Okay. And mainly in that data, you must have the WhatsApp number of your customers. So here you have to connect that application. Here I'm connecting Google Sheet application. This is it. And here I've collected the WhatsApp numbers of all my customers. You can see. Okay. So to automate the messages on WhatsApp, first of all, we are going to capture the data from the spreadsheet to here in this trigger and the response towards that trigger would be to send the messages automatically. Okay. So let me connect Google Sheets here. If you want to learn how we can connect Google Sheet or any other application in the trigger, you can check the videos of our channel. We have many videos where you can learn how to set up the trigger. So guys, I have connected Google Sheets in the trigger, you can see, and I have fetched the test data out from my Google Sheet application like this. Here you can see I got the name of the person, the email ID, the WhatsApp number or the mobile number here like this. Okay. And this is the same data that we got here. You can see in the first row that I have captured here like the test data. Okay. Now I want to send this person whose data I have captured. Uh, I want to send this person a WhatsApp message. Okay. And to do that automatically, you need to use this action step. And from here, we are going to connect another application, which is called 360 dialog. So now you guys are wondering why we are using 360 dialog guys to send messages on WhatsApp directly. We need to have the official access of WhatsApp's API. So 360 dialog is an application, which is our official WhatsApp API provider. So by using this, we can send messages on WhatsApp. So I'm selecting here 360 dialog. This is it. Okay. And now in the action event, you have to select this send template message option. Okay. And let me sh show you my 360 dialog application. This is it guys. This is my 360 dialog applications dashboard. So guys to use uh, the services of 360 dialog, you can use the link, a special link that I have pasted in the description for you from where you can avail the services of 360 dialogue in much lesser prices than you usually offer you. Okay. So usually they charge $39 per month for their uh, services, but going through our link, you can avail those services in $5 per month. Okay. So you can use it and set up your account here. Okay. Now let me show you how we can connect 360 dialogue here. So just click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. And here you can see it is asking for the API key of 360 dialog and the domain to make the connection. Okay. So let me show you how you can generate and from where you can generate the key. 
So guys, uh, this is my 360 Dialogues dashboard and here I have this WhatsApp accounts pages. Click on WhatsApp accounts. And here you can see I have this button uh, right here. You can see showing generate the API key. Okay. So by clicking on this generate API key button, you can generate a API key and you have to copy that key and paste it here in the API key field. And while generating the key, you will get the domain as well, which will look like this link. So you just have to copy that link and paste it here. So guys generating the key from here and making the connection by filling the key in the domain here is one time process. Okay. Once you get a key generated and once you fill the key in the domain here and make you have to click on save and you'll be connected with 360 dialog. And, and after that, if you want to make the connection again in a different workflow with 360 dialog, you don't have to fill these things. You just have to select this existing connection option and you will be connected with 360 dialog again. Okay. As I have already generated a key and I have already made a connection before in a different workflow by filling these two things. So now I need not to fill these things again. I'm just going to use existing connection option and here I'm clicking on save and you can see we are getting connected with 360 dialog. So you can see we are connected here and here it is asking which template you want to use to send the messages. So first of all, let me explain you what templates are. So this is my 360 dialogue application and here I have this button showing manage templates. Let me click on it. And here you can see these are the message templates I have created and uh, get, get it approved. Okay. So let me show you once. So guys, uh, message templates are nothing but the predefined message structures that need that you need to create here to send messages on WhatsApp. Okay. So here you can see I have created a message template here or a message structure and it is showing hi, a quick message from ABC studio to say your appointment on this and this has been successfully booked. So guys, I have created this message template for sending a uh, appointment confirmation messages. Okay. To my clients, right? So you can create similar kind of templates. Let me show you how just click here on this add template button. Okay. And from this window, you can give a name to your template here. And here you can select the categories that provide you to create message templates. Here is the category auto reply account update, payment update, personal finance update, shipping, reservation, and they have many categories. And from here you can select the language also uh, in which you want to send the messages. You can select the templates type as a standard template in which you can send text data, text only, or we have media and interactive option also from where you can send photos and uh, uh, other kind of documents as well. Okay. And here in the body, uh, body box, you have to type the main body of the message that you want to send. And after that, click on preview and submit button and submit your template. So after submitting WhatsApp's parent company, that is Facebook is going to review your template and approve your template. So the standard time they say is 30 minutes to 48 hours to get a template approved, but it will generally take one and a half hour or two hour to get the uh, template approval. So once you got your templates approved, it will look like this here. Okay. These are the ta approved templates I have. Okay. And here you can see in any of the template, let's say this only appointment details template here. You can see I have this uh, after dear one in double curly braces and here I have two in double curly braces, three, four and five. So guys, what are these? These are called variable tags or the body fields of the message. Okay. So you can see after dear, I'm going to uh, put the name of the person to whom I'm sending this message. So if you are sending the same temp, uh, if you are using this same template to send messages to many people, the name of the people uh, of the persons are going to change. Okay. So guys, you need to have these body fields here in the message template so, so that you can get those uh, things changed with every new message and to get these body fields or the variables changed with every new message. We are going to map the data of these body fields here in Pabli connect. Okay. Let me show you how. So first of all, let me select the message template from here. So guys, let's say I'm using this template birthday wish template to 
wish my uh, customer happy birthday okay right so uh, let's select this template from this list in your workflow from this template field search for your template our template is birthday wish birthday wish okay this is it select your template and you can see uh, the namespace field is filled here automatically no need to change this the language code is also filled because we have uh, messages in one, one language only which is English so it is showing the code here as EN okay now it is asking for the recipient's mobile number the header image URL the body field which is here okay so here uh, we are going to map the data in the recipient mobile number field from the first step and in the first step you can see I have the uh, mobile number of my customer which I fetched from my Google Sheet application okay so I am going to map this label here in the recipient mobile number field okay and to do that just click here on this field and you will find this Google Sheet step in the drop down and from here only just map this mobile number label like this and you have to enter the phone number in this format you can see with a plus sign and the country code so we have a, a country code here but do not have the plus sign so I am man manually entering here the plus sign okay now it is asking for the header image so here we have an image also this is a uh, media and interactive template so here I am going to um, paste the link of a greeting card or an image that you want to send to your customer as uh, on his or her birthday okay so let me fill the Im header image here so guys here I have pasted the JPG link of a birthday greeting to send to my customer okay and here it is asking for the body field so as I have told you that here I have a body field which I want to change with every new message after happy birthday I want the name of my customer here so, so to have the customer's name in the place of this body field you need to map the data of your customer here in the body field section so we have the data of my customer in the first step where we have fetched the data from my spreadsheet okay so let's map the name here just click here and you will find this step here from here only map the name like this okay now you can check your connection with whatsapp guys I have the access of this whatsapp account that I have mapped here so to show you the demo I can show you the message I am clicking on save and send test request and a new message will be delivered here in this whatsapp account let me show you so I have clicked on save and send test request and let's see and you can see we have received a new message here and the message is this you can see happy birthday adam smith i hope your birthday is full of sunshine and in place of the body field you can see we have the name now as adam smith and here in the header section we have this happy birthday greeting and this is the same link i have pasted here you can see in this header you image url field okay let me show you this also so this is the same image that i have pasted here and the same image we have received here okay so this is how it is going to work guys and uh, we are done setting up the automation now whenever you enter the data of any person here in your spreadsheet the message will be delivered to the person like this automatically so not just the birthday wishes you can send any other kind of messages as well by creating message templates here in 360 dialog and that's how you can uh, set up the WhatsApp automation for your business.